As I have forever gone on about for the past three months, Alton Towers confirmed not so long ago that they're building a brand new indoor ride or roller coaster next to the world of David Williams and the dungeons. Honestly, that area of the park was so neglected before. Now look at it. It's completely unknown to anyone what this ride will actually be. I've speculated about it. You speculated about it. You never know. The designers might be speculating about it. But today, as I love to always do, I have recreated the space they are set to use for that ride in Planet Coaster. And I'm going to build a ride to fit in that building. This one's going to be a lot more different to anything I've done before because it's indoors. I might actually have to theme it for once. God. So stay tuned to the end and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's video. It's very important. More on that later though. It's build time. So as you can see, that is the building in front of us. You know what? We're going to do a full on tour of this area. So as a guest, we walk in through this um, tunnel and we enter into the park. As you can see, beautiful over here. We have a sign. Ignore that for now. We have this lovely grey pathway, as you can see. This is so realistic. When this opens in real life, all I want to see is just a grey pathway, and that's it. Just grey. All grey. Over to the left, we have the entrance to the queue line area, but that doesn't matter because through a bush, I'm mainly focusing on this thing here. As you can see, it's very grey. And we go through into the main room. Wow, look at this. So much light coming in when there is walls everywhere. This game is shit. I personally have no idea where to begin. Uh, an inverted coaster? Honestly, I could stick the old Nemesis track in there and call it a day. You know what? I was thinking, if I use the Typhoon Bar Guest model, which is a Gerst Hour Eurofire, or the Infinity model so I can get the multi-launch elements on the ride, and replace the trains with seats that you sat on a motorbike, like Velocity at Flamingoland. Or is it Iron Horse? The no, instead of a coaster train, we will use a steam train, guys. So my idea is to make this a more story-driven roller coaster out of the station. We're not going to go into a launch or anything. We're going to go into a right-hand turn quite quickly. And then... Well, we're not going to do that. I don't really know what the theme's going to be, because surely if there's show scenes, then audio's got to happen. Maybe I'll have to do some voice acting. So we glide around that bit of the layout, go into the brakes, and turn around into what's probably going to be a large set piece because, you know, you got to wow your guests. It's like, ah! Oh my god, wait. I have, I'm so sorry, guys. I've just realised something, and I, I shouldn't be able to get away with this. I've forgotten to wear the correct safety equipment. I'm now fit for work. So due to my excavation, we're going to follow this little path here, round, do a little airtime hill, down and into the second and probably biggest launch on the ride. You go through this section here where there's going to be fire and effects and me speaking like, You do not enter my lair. And then I've added a little kicker launch because I feel like this bit went a bit too slow. Uh, that bit's quite neck jarring, I need to smooth that out. And then into this launch here, which... That would hurt. This is going to go high up in the building. So what I did here is I made it bank up from that launch into a little airtime hill at the same height, and then drop down into 17 inversions. Let's up the record. Honestly, this might break the record for the most amount of times it's crossed over itself, 172 times. Now, a good point on this coaster is whether it will have inversions or not. Now, because it's an indoor roller coaster, you could get away with it. You could tell guests that in that building, as said before, it is just the layout of a wacky worm. Meanwhile, it's actually the Smiler indoors. Although I am going to be nice and not put any in. I was lying. I, I couldn't contain myself. <laughs> If you think about it, an inversion on a motorbike coaster would be a world's first. And what do Merlin love? Now, pretty much what I've done here is similar to what I did on the World of Jumanji recreation with that wing coaster that doesn't have a name still. So you'll see, as much as it's probably going too fast, it'll go up into this spike section. Yep, that, that's way too fast. Flip round and go back down as if it were going backwards. I really wish you could actually go backwards in this game on a separate piece of track. <laughs> I hate Planet Coaster. And because it's an indoor ride and you want certain bits covered up from other bits, I'm going to place down some black walls. 
So just thinking of the theme of this ride and what it's going to be like, I'm not going to do all the theming on here because I know it'll be boring and long, but I'm thinking of going for some sort of Aztec temple or just completely ripping off Fly. But that's what the coaster looks like from an overview standpoint without all the theming. It genuinely is really challenging to try and fit a big coaster in this area, but I thoroughly enjoyed my experience. I might have to leave a TripAdvisor review, but hold on a minute. Where is the POV? Why didn't I finish the coaster? You may ask. Well, at 6 p.m. tomorrow, there is a video going live on this channel premiering, yes, premiering, to mark the beginning of the Alton Towers Project Horizon Challenge, where you guys get to build a coaster in that area there for the chance to win a huge prize. So as much as I hate to do this, the POV will be in tomorrow's video, alongside all the information and release details of the competition. I'll see you then.